Hey guys, I just returned from a uh, first photo fair. I went there um, very last minute. I was asked to uh, bring my snails, my two big snails, and um, some roaches for a photo shoot. So I did. And this morning I also picked up a new. Um, uh, a new um, uh, tarantula, so sorry, a bit tired. And um, I'm just gonna show her. I'm gonna put her back in. I made this, prepared this little terrarium of hers, this enclosure. And I'm planning on getting her a bit bigger one, but for now it's way better than her um, temporarily one. And I'm gonna put the snails and roaches back to their own enclosures. Also, look at all those tiny baby snails. They're amazing. So yeah, I uh, brought my snails in uh, this little box to take them. I put them all, I got them all in my backpack. This is my new, assumably, assumingly girl. Brachypelma amopelosum, uh, uh, Brachypelma amori, if you, as you might be able to see. Um, she's been a really good girl today, so very glad, very nice, very happy with her. Um, I also handled her today. I'm uh, not a big fan of handling tarantulas, um, though I think that with the right um, measurements, it would not be or should not be any problem. Uh, just know what you're doing and always make sure the animal is safe. Pets first. The animal is always first. So yeah, she's been really nice today, uh, as are my dubia roaches. I'm looking for a bigger type of roach. As anyone knows a bigger type of roach that isn't flying one, please tell me. Um, I use them for photo shoots. Um, mainly and uh, my snails also so I didn't talk about my um, African land snails yet I didn't show them yet uh, they are uh, as you would call it rescue snails I got them from someone who had to get rid of them and um, they don't have the prettiest shells uh, they had some calcium shortage in the past I think I figure looking at their shells but they're really nice uh, they had names they are named Tommy and Jimmy and uh, well you know I'll just keep them calling that way so let me just get those out of their enclosure and put them back out, out of this box and put them back in their enclosure uh, I have to put the camera down to take them out so be back in a minute or a second for you here they are the one on top is Jimmy and the other one is Tommy. So let's just pick them up and I have help wet hands. Always make sure your wet hands are wet when handling snails as they can get harmed by your body otherwise. So here they are. Jimmy and Tommy. They are really nice snails. They are not the biggest yet. They still can grow. I'm gonna rinse them Make sure they're nice and clean. Ah, there, there's Jimmy, uh, Tommy, Tommy. And put them back in their enclosure with some nice fresh food so they can enjoy that they're back home. So, so here they are, nice and clean. Gonna put them back in their enclosure. They're probably, oh, sorry, one. They're gonna probably gonna dig their way into the substrate like you're supposed to do or maybe take a bath even though I just rinsed them I'm gonna put their football bag with some nice cucumber I think for today and maybe some other stuff I will figure out what I have in the fridge so on to the next animal so on to the less interesting one I'm just gonna go put the dubias back in their big enclosure with the rest of the dubias in their bin so this girl here or she should be a girl is my newest 
get my oldest. Come on, girl. Still burn. A tarantula. I always wanted an Amari, uh, Smitty, ex Smitty, and now I finally got one. She's a bit bald, but I think she overall is very pretty. She's a good girl. She is okay with handling. I'm not sure. She prefers, like most tarantulas, to not be handled. Like, of course, human hands are weird and stuff. So, yeah, as you see, there she is. And I'm gonna put her in her first, in her enclosure here. Handling at your own risk, okay? Always handle tarantulas at your own risk. But she's a good girl, as you can see. She's great. And she goes back into her bin, and I'm gonna put her in our enclosure now. And there she is, exploring the place. So she has a hide in there. It's pretty basic. She's a hide. You know, some life plants. There are spring fields in there. A little water dish. You can see it there in the back. So, hey girl, give us a tour in your house, please. So she's just figuring her stuff out. Updates on her later. She's a good girl. At least I think she's a girl. I was told she's a girl. We will see if she's a girl. Later, probably. Yeah, that's your plant. Take good care of your plant, okay? What it is a bit further down. So it's not an especially big enclosure. I plan on getting her a bigger one. It's uh I just have to clean all the stuff and you know for now she will be fine here. So you might also be able to see her in further videos or feeding videos or photos or whatever. Hey, you're coming closer girl. There she goes. She's a good girl. Swirling around the place. Don't come into the camera. Yes, yeah, sorry girl. I just moved my camera. Yeah, she's a bit skittish. She's okay. Don't climb the glass. That's the top. Just go burrow in your new den. New den. Oh so, yeah, I'm also gonna put the dubias back. I'm not gonna film that. I might show you how I keep my dubias later on. They did a good job today. So, that was all. Uh, name suggestions for my new tarantula would be great. I'm thinking of calling her Bess. Uh, I'm not sure yet though. So, please, thumbs up if you liked this video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Uh, share and maybe even subscribe, you know, for more future videos. Maybe there will be some fun videos in the future. So, have a nice day. Bye!